This video is going to tell you whether you should buy a MacBook Air for your development. And we're going to test the performance of this MacBook Air. When I say development, that means you're going to be running more than 10 apps at the same time. Now I'm going to show you this MacBook Air, which is the 8 GB RAM one. And I would like to run as many applications as I can with 8 GB. And let's find out if this computer can be basically used as a professional computer for a software developer in terms of performance and how many applications it can run at the same time. Now, all of these apps that you see on the dock, I'm going to click on those. So I'll just use pretty much all of them. Okay, so as you can see, it was quick. I'm going to start a iOS emulator as well and let me just close this camera one there we go so you see how quickly it actually created this uh, project in an emulator and now how many applications running right now and it's it seems very fluent so but these are Apple native applications that's why maybe their performance are good so let's try running some Rosetta application where I have IntelliJ I have PyCharm I have WebStorm and all of these IDs are pretty powerful. They take a lot of resources. Now, if you're not still happy with this performance, then what I'm going to do is go to Safari and I'm going to go up and get, I'm going to actually duplicate this, like, I don't know. So I'll do, so I'll open like, I don't know, 200. All right, so on Safari, I don't know, I maybe open, <laughs> okay, so there's about more than 100 tabs with eight gigabyte RAM, and you will notice that's pretty much, you know, it's loading, everything is working, so I can go switch, and you know, if you're not happy with, maybe you think GitHub page is pretty light, then we will try finding some page like maybe yahoo.com. Let's try that. Okay, this page is pretty heavy. I think there's a lot of news going on. So I'll do something like, you know, make a duplicate out of this one as well. And let's see what it does. All right, so now we got some heavy web page loading. Okay, kind of at that stage where we're running like all these heavy applications. Given that, right now, I don't see it's really something that a normal person will do. It's just because I wanted to test it and that's what I'm doing. I will go to Safari and I'll start closing some tabs. Let's try. And also I'm recording with the QuickTime as well. Okay, so that was my quick test of MacBook Air. I'll be doing the same test to MacBook Pro as well. Uh, at that stage, the computer actually froze and I wasn't able to close all the Safari tabs. So I had to restart the computer. Uh, but given that how many applications I was running and then those Safari tabs, that was expected. So yeah, I hope this video helped to make a decision whether you wanna get this computer. Is it good enough for you or not?